The very first work I did was at the World Economic Forum in Davos, and I wanted to find out how you can do independent images from a political event. I invented this principle with the surveillance camera. I wanted to apply it a military technology, a technology of power, and apply that on the security situation in Davos. I split the image frame into time fragments. Uh, you can look at the single image, but you can also look at the overall novel. Nobody's really controlling everything. I control the big concept and the frame, but what is happening within each frame is really at random. We actually installed our own cameras. In this case, it was two, that every camera took off of the space, and then it was combined to one panorama. The cameras turned twice through the whole evening, so 720 degrees. So what is a circle panorama that turns twice? It's a spiral. So it's 20 meters long and three meters high. So at the beginning, the doors are opening. First image, one image every three seconds. From bottom to top, 36 images, two minutes. So each column is two minutes of the evening. At the end, the blue Danube falls, of course, which is then the, then the last moment before the councillor says, everybody dancing. On the ticket you buy, it says you agree with being photographed and filmed in, under the usual usage of imagery. And it said also it is forbidden to take private photographs. Actually, you can even take my photographs as a proof of many people doing illegal things <laughs> in the opera. We had the permission from the opera ball. And the president of the opera ball, she gave an interview saying if somebody goes there to kiss around with his affair, then uh, it's really his problem, because people go there to be seen. So how can they complain now? After two years, I edited the images and put them together in blocks from 24 to 120 images, thematical blocks. I rearranged them thematically. I selected interesting images, just something interesting. I tried to be as neutral as possible, something intriguing. And from that on, I started to put them on a table and make blocks. Of course, the charm of this work is that you control only one thing and the rest is arbitrary. At that event where people try to represent themselves and know that they are on film, they are filmed by the Austrian television, they are there for, to represent themselves or being in the best light. But here, nobody really controls their performance or their representation. So it's not me, it's not the camera, it's not them.